This video is intended to assist you in the use of the SmartVest Airway Clearance System. It is not intended to replace your instruction manual, which should be read in its entirety before operating your SmartVest system. Important safety instructions are found on page 2 of the manual. If, after reading your manual, you need further assistance, contact Electromed Patient Services at 1-888-966-2525. If you have any medical concerns, please consult with your physician. Electromed's dedicated staff works to ensure the excellence of its product and its service for those who rely upon the smart vest for their daily airway clearance. As part of our service commitment to you, we have created this training presentation to help you use and maintain your smart vest system for maximum effectiveness. High Frequency Chest Wall Oscillation, or HFCWO, varies from traditional percussion and postural drainage. It is, as you will experience, much easier to apply. However, the goal remains the same, to clear the patient's lungs. HFCWO works more like a natural <laughs> cough, with the vest doing most of the work. When your vest fills with air and begins to pulsate, your chest is compressed from 5 to 20 times per second. With each compression of your vest, a burst of air is forced through the airways of your lungs, shearing the secretions from the sides of the airways, reducing the viscosity of the secretions, and moving them upward, where they can be coughed or suctioned out. All lobes of your lungs are treated at the same time. Patients can remain upright when using Smart Vest and can eliminate head-down positions during treatment. Because the air pulses are delivered to the torso through your vest, it is very important to fit it correctly. Wear a single layer of clothing, such as a t-shirt. Put your vest on. The tummy flap should be adjusted so the smart vest fits snugly, but not to the point where it restricts breathing. Adjust the shoulder straps so that the bottom of your vest is at your waist or slightly below it. It should also be high enough so that it does not fold at your lap while you are sitting. If it is adjusted too loosely, the vest will expand more than is necessary and pulsations may be diminished. Should the tummy flap of your vest tend to open during treatment, you can prevent this by opening the small strap, lacing it through the D-ring, and securing it to the Velcro. If you are experiencing tenderness from a new G-tube or central catheter, Electromed Patient Services can provide you with a foam donut to make your treatment more comfortable. Vests are sized according to the user's personal measurements. If, after following instructions, you still find the fit incorrect, Call Electromed Patient Services for assistance. Remember that if you or your child outgrows a vest, you can call Electromed for a free replacement. The heart of the Smart Vest Airway Clearance System is the pulse generator, which features a memory function that saves your individual treatment protocols. This allows most young children to use the device with minimal parental supervision and requires less attention from users to complete each treatment correctly. Electromed has also designed the Smart Vest Generator so that you can operate it in a horizontal position or in an upright position, with both orientations always allowing you the same view of the display. Let's quickly review the controls you will be using on the generator control panel. The center point of the control panel is the user interface display. The buttons to the left and right of the display are used to select the program mode or manual mode while at the home screen or to set time and frequency. The buttons running along the length of the display are the start pause button, set button, 
and home screen button. The start pause button is a dual function button that starts the device when it is not pulsing and pauses or stops the device when it is pulsing. The set button is used in program mode to set the program instructions. And the home screen button is used to return to the home screen. To the side of the display area is the pressure adjustment dial. It is used to set the amount of hug you feel from the vest during treatment. Now that you have been introduced to the control panel, let's see how to operate the device. Plug your smart vest system into a grounded, three-prong outlet. The system will automatically turn on. Connect one end of the hose to the generator. Twist slightly to tighten the connection and attach the other end of the hose to the air inlet on the lower edge of your vest. Again, twist slightly to tighten the connection. On your display, you will see that you can use one of two modes to set the length of time and pulse frequency of your prescribed protocol. Manual mode and program mode, which can save up to three individual protocols. Let's use the manual mode first. Begin by pressing the down arrow next to the word manual on the screen. The manual mode screen automatically displays a treatment segment of 10 minutes and 10 hertz when it comes up. Set your treatment time by pressing the up or down arrow to the left of the display. Use the up and down arrows to the right of the display to change the pulse frequency. Please note that time settings will always be to the left of the display and frequency settings will always be to the right of the display, regardless of whether the generator is horizontal or upright. The pressure setting relates to the level of hug you will experience from the vest during treatment. Use the pressure dial on the control panel to adjust the pressure to the setting that has been recommended, or start at 30 and increase the setting to the highest level that is still comfortable. Once you have set the time and frequency to the settings your physician has prescribed, you can begin your treatment by pressing the Start button. As pulsing begins, you will feel a gradual increase in the hug from the vest. If you have not experienced HFCWO before, it may feel a little unusual at first, but it should not be uncomfortable. If necessary, the pressure adjustment control can be dialed down to reduce pressure for the first few minutes or the first few treatments. Then, after you are familiar with the feel of HFCWO, the pressure can be increased to the highest pressure that is still comfortable. As your vest fills, your voice will begin to sound chattery or like a helicopter. These sounds result from the cough-like pulses of air moving through your airways. Returning to the display, you will see that it counts down the time remaining for the current treatment segment. When the timer reaches zero, the air pulses will stop, the unit will beep twice, and the display will return to the setting you started with. The air pulses created in your airways will have loosened and mobilized the secretions. You can then perform your directed huffing and coughing to remove them. When you are ready to continue your therapy in the manual mode, set the time and frequency to your next treatment segment and press the start button. Please note that if you ever need to pause the treatment, simply press the pause button and the air pulses will stop. Hello? Oh, okay. Can I give you a call back in a few minutes? Thank you. And then, when you are ready to resume your treatment, just press the start button again. Operating your SmartVest airway clearance system in the program mode allows you to set as many as three separate treatment protocols. Each of these protocols can be saved, freeing you from the need to reset them each time you operate the machine. Programming your SmartVest system is simple. Begin by pressing the triangle button next to the program number you want to use. We'll start with program 1 for our demonstration here. This takes you to the Set Program screen, where up to six lines of treatment intervals per program can be entered. These intervals are displayed using the letters A 
through F. Press the Set button to begin programming the memory. Line A will be highlighted. Set the time for this first treatment interval by using the up and down arrows to the left of the display. Set the frequency by using the up and down arrows to the right of the display. Save this first memory line by pressing the Set button. Line B will now be highlighted. To add treatment intervals according to your physician's instructions, repeat this procedure for the required additional lines. When you are done, press the Home Screen button to enter the protocol into the generator memory. You now have permanent, one-touch access to your customized program. If you require separate protocols for different users, or multiple protocols for a single user, follow the same procedure for programs 2 and 3. Now, when you are ready to begin your treatment, begin by setting the pressure that has been recommended. Select the preset program you wish to use by pressing the triangle button next to it. Then press the start button. Your treatment will begin. When the first treatment interval has ended, the generator will stop pulsing and will beep twice. The screen will display the next preset treatment interval. You can now perform your directed huffing and coughing to remove mobilized secretions. <coughs> Press the Start button to begin your next treatment interval. When the treatment protocol has run its course, the generator will stop pulsing and will beep twice. And just as a reminder, should you need to pause your treatment at any time while in the program mode, just press the pause button. When you are ready to resume, push the start button. To make your therapy session more comfortable and effective, consider doing your treatment before eating. Vest therapy is rarely comfortable after a large meal. And drink a glass of water before therapy to hydrate and thin secretions. Many physicians also prescribe the use of nebulized aerosols while performing vest therapy. Ask your physician for instructions. Your SmartVest airway clearance system is simple to maintain. Clean the air pulse generator and air hose with a cloth dampened with a non-abrasive household cleaner. Just be careful not to let any liquid run inside the generator. Allow the hardware to dry completely before resuming use. Routine preventative maintenance of your SmartVest system requires replacement of the unit's air filter every six months or after 200 hours of use. Begin by removing the filter access door on the bottom of the generator. To do this, press the Release tab and pull up on the access door. Carefully remove the felt filter. Install a new filter and close the access door. The SmartVest Respiratory Vest has two components, the outer shell or cover and the inner bladder. For optimal long-lasting use, both must be cleaned regularly. To remove the inner bladder for cleaning, open the vest completely. Lay it out on a flat surface. Unzip the zipper. Five Velcro strips hold the bladder in position inside the shell. Release these to remove the bladder. Lift the bladder out of the shell. Be careful not to puncture or cut the bladder material with any sharp objects. The outer vest can be spot cleaned with a damp cloth and a household fabric cleaner. For a more thorough cleaning, launder the outer shell in a washing machine with a mild detergent. Wash the shell by itself and make sure you have removed the inner bladder first. Fully close all Velcro closures beforehand and use the gentle cycle and cool water settings. The shell must not be machine dried, but must be hung on a hanger and air dried.
clean the inner bladder with a cloth or sponge dampened with water and or a household cleaner. Do not machine wash or dry clean it. Never allow liquid to get inside the bladder. Before reinstalling the bladder into the outer vest, always make sure both vest components are completely dry. Working on a flat surface, place the bladder into the shell. Tuck the four shoulder straps of the bladder into the shoulder straps of the shell, working the ends into the corresponding pockets. Be sure the Velcro attachment points are firmly connected. Also, attach the fifth Velcro strip located near the air hose connector. Check the bladder position, readjust the Velcro attachments where necessary, and then close the zipper. If it appears your smart vest system is not working properly, check to make sure it is not in the sleep mode. Press any button on the front panel to see if it will turn on. If it is not in sleep mode, then check the troubleshooting section in your instruction manual. If your troubleshooting efforts do not restore the performance of your system, call Electromed Patient Services for more assistance. If your unit requires servicing, Electromed will provide you with a replacement unit. Please note that attempted repairs by an unauthorized person will void your SmartVest warranty. All repairs to your SmartVest system must be performed by authorized Electromed technicians. The only exception is replacing a blown fuse. To check for a blown fuse, first, unplug your generator. The unit's two fuses are located adjacent to the power cord receptacle. Remove the fuses from their holder and replace them according to the procedures outlined in the troubleshooting guide in your instruction manual. Electromed has designed the smart vest system to be portable and easy to store. The generator and vest each fit into their own separate compartments on the wheeled trimline carrier. The carrier takes up very little space in your home and allows the system to be handled as carry-on baggage while traveling. We welcome you to the use of your smart vest airway clearance system. We are grateful for the opportunity to provide you with the most convenient, comfortable, and cost-effective high-frequency chest wall oscillation system available. If you have any questions at all about the use of your SmartVest airway clearance system or its service needs, Electromed Respiratory Therapists are available seven days a week to answer your questions. Please contact Electromed Patient Services at one 966 2525.